Today we're gonna try to make keto-friendly ice cream in five minutes. If you've been hanging out online recently, I bet you've heard of the Ninja Creamy. Sweeping the internet, everybody has one, except for us. A month ago, we tried a hack to make keto-friendly ice cream in the Dash ice cream maker, which was fine, I guess. It took about 45 minutes to make ice cream, and it sounded like a freight train going through our house, so much so that we had to put it in the basement. Oh, that's loud, so. If you're sensitive to noise, or maybe you don't have 40 minutes to make your keto-friendly ice cream, we came across a hack that might be perfect for you, and it's by Kitchen Tool. He tries a hack to make ice cream at home, and it looks so simple that we just had to try it today. And while there's tons of keto-friendly ice creams out there, I used to be a really big fan of ice cream back before I started keto. And so what I like about this recipe is that it's simple enough that you can tweak it to whatever kind of flavor profiles that you want. And the thing about this recipe, with a lot of the things that we try here on our channel, is that it's not necessarily keto, what he's doing, but we're gonna tweak it to be keto because we want you guys to look at any recipe that you find out there on the internet and say, how can I make this keto? Instead of saying, I can't have anything, sorry, just hit the, cabinet instead of saying i can't have anything keto is so boring there's nothing to eat open up your mind open up your heart to the possibilities that there's so much out there for you abundance mindset right and sarah and i have tried a lot of different ice creams here on our channel we tried avocado ice cream cottage cheese ice cream and others um but this one seems to be a surefire bet because it is coffee ice cream and sarah and i love coffee mm -hmm. if you're new here you wouldn't know this, but Sarah and I drink between five and 10 probably cups of coffee a day. Not full cups. Yeah, our husbands tend to think that that's a problem, but I don't. I drink decaf sometimes. Yeah. What I like about this recipe is that the ingredients are fairly simple and you don't need to buy anything crazy. He uses espresso, sugar, vanilla, and heavy whipping cream. Obviously we can't use sugar. So we're gonna be using stevia for this recipe. So the equipment that you're gonna be needing is a couple of gallon, are these gallon sized? Mm -hmm. They don't look gallon sized to me. Gallon sized Ziploc bags, some salt. We're using about six tablespoons in this recipe and two cups of ice. This could be a base for other things too. So keep that in mind. If you don't like coffee, think strawberries, mm -hmm. which is probably the other default that we were gonna use in this video. It's just that we do that so often that if Sarah would choose a flavor, it's always gonna be strawberry forever. You could do chocolate, vanilla, white chocolate. We are using vanilla in this recipe, but the opportunities are endless. So let's see how well this works. You missing all these drops. That's the good stuff. So first off, we're gonna brew our espresso. You're gonna want that to cool down completely, so that's why we're gonna brew that first. Next up, we're gonna take a glass and we're gonna kinda shove our bag into the glass because we're gonna want it to sit up straight while we add the rest of the ingredients. We're gonna put in the shot of espresso that's been cooled, half a cup of heavy cream, a splash of vanilla. He puts a pretty big splash in there. He puts two tablespoons of sugar in it. We are gonna go with about a teaspoon Maybe that's too much, half a teaspoon? We're gonna go with about a half a teaspoon of stevia. Liquid stevia can be very sweet, right. so. Less is more. Having fun over there? Mm -hmm. This is where our other bag comes in. You're gonna pour in your ice. How much ice is that? Two cups. And then you're gonna add in six tablespoons of salt. Sarah has been holding on to this janky salt <laughs> container for about... I've had it for a very long time. I don't even know. Years. If salt is like a billion years old, so there's no expiration date. And there's a scientific reason why you need salt with the ice. It says that the salt is used to lower the temperature of the ice surrounding the bag filled with the cream. As the ice melts, it freezes the ice cream mixture by pulling heat out of the base. Shaking the bag while this heat transfer is happening also helps by adding air to the ice cream, which lightens the texture so the ice cream is nice and creamy. I'm gonna put my bag with the ice cream base into our other bag with the ice and the salt. Can I sit while I'm doing this? Sure. Oh, I thought you were gonna say no. We're gonna start shaking this for five minutes. Cue circus music. No, cue epic music. You need to make it epic looking in order to use epic music, so go ahead. Knew that was gonna happen. <laughs>
It's been five minutes. My hands are completely frozen to the bone. Let's open her up and see what we got. <gasps> Look, it is a solid. I'm gonna cut the bag so that we can see what it looks like. Why did I cut it like that? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> I had the Emily way. The Emily way, exactly. Like how I cut a pizza. We're gonna plate up this ice cream or bowl it up. And we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna try it with something special I brought along. Breaking okay. is needed. Isn't that a Beastie Boy song? Suffocation. No breathing. That's not Papa Roach? Yeah. Sarah and I used to be into um, a heavy Eat. alternative rock. You know call it emo music? A tray you. Hey there. <laughs> hey there. Yeah. Hey dude. <laughs> So I really appreciate how simple this was. You don't need any special equipment. It took five minutes. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's good. Mm -hmm. The consistency isn't bad. I think there is a little bit of iciness mm -hmm. to it. Honestly, it tastes just like the other one that we made in the dash where we just poured like the protein shake into the core power shake. Yeah, yeah, and it's got the same consistency as that. So I wouldn't say that that's a bad thing. You know, it's just funny, like I think this would be perfect for kids right. in the summer because uh, yeah, definitely we were cold after doing it. So <laughs> the base itself was super easy. It's very flavorful. Mm -hmm. It tastes like coffee, but I thought why not add something a little special to it? I was perusing the internet and I saw a drink called a white chocolate hazelnut latte. Mm. And that is right up my alley. Because mm -hmm. that sounds like something that I would order from Starbucks or something. Is it from Starbucks? I don't know. Oh. I brought over one of our new favorite products. It is white chocolate hazelnut mm. spread. And I thought, why not just drizzle a touch, not a lot, just a touch on top of the ice cream. It's very, very rich tasting. I'm just going to... That's a lot. Kind of just... That's a lot. I'm not going to pour it like I'm just a little drizzle it's it doesn't move okay, how you okay. how... oh don't get it on my camera let's try it with that on there see how that is it's like peanut butter mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. adds a little bit of sweetness mm -hmm. white chocolate and hazelnut and coffee mm. natural combination flavored mm. So I think that this was like one serving. We're splitting that one serving. If you wanted to make this for a couple people, I probably would double the recipe, right? At least. It's a small serving, but it's, you know, this is probably what we should be eating. Especially since it's heavy whipping cream. I eat my ice cream with tiny spoons and it really helps. It makes it feel like there's more. Mm. What's your spoon? That's like a serving spoon? I don't know. But I definitely recommend using a smaller spoon. You just get more spoonfuls. Get more bang for your buck. <laughs> yeah. But overall, I really like this technique. It's something that you can just do with whatever you have on hand. Yeah. Not everybody can afford the Ninja Creamy. Plus, with the Ninja Creamy, I did not know this before, but you actually have to freeze the ingredients that you put in there the night before. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's not like it whips it up in the moment for you. You have to be prepared. But for something that's so simple, I really liked this technique. And so recently we made a video where we talked about a lot of our favorite new products that we've tried in the past six months or so. If you want to see that video, you can click right here and we will see you over there. Anyway, I'm Emily. And I'm Sarah. And, and we, we are, are the Keto Twins, Twins signing out. out. We could have shared one thing, but we don't really like sharing out of the same vessel. Mm. Except if it was my mother as the vessel. Ew!